Now we're thinking about those kind of transactions that often happen at the beginning of the business or possibly when expanding the business. We can look at it with the accounting equation. Typically we need assets, we need cash. How do we get cash to start off when we're not generating it yet because the business, has, business hasn't really got going yet? We've got to finance it with liabilities, possibly loans or equity. That's the money from us so that we can do what? We can purchase property, plant and equipment, the things that we're going to need to help us to generate revenue in the future, which are recorded as assets, but can also be thought as as a type of investment. The reason they're in the business and not outside of it, which is not just hanging on to it in our checking account or putting it in stocks and bonds is because we think we can get a better return on it. So we had a transaction to increase the checking account for the investments. And then we put some of that money into a short term investment just to hold on to hopefully getting some return on it as we then think about the purchase of the property and equipment that we're going to buy. And now we're buying the property plant and equipment. Now note that how much property plant and equipment you might need will of course be dependent upon the type of business you are in. There's many businesses that people can start that don't require very much at all for the entry. You could start a YouTube channel, try to earn revenue. You could st start working on gig work and whatnot with very little upfront. And that's great. The problem with those types of businesses are that you have to have some kind of superior business model in terms of competing with competition because the barriers to entry are, are much less. So you're, you're usually, you usually have more competition in those areas. So you want to differentiate yourself somehow in those areas. Uh, if you're in other types of businesses, sometimes you need to buy, of course, equipment in order to really get your business going. And so that's the next step oftentimes for starting the new business. We raise the capital. Now we're going to buy the property, plant and equipment. What is that? That's buildings that we might need. That would be the, the equipment that we might need to purchase and the furniture, for example. We here imagining we have a guitar shop that we're going to sell guitars and we're going to be uh, basically having guitar lessons we'll do in the future and rent out some equipment. So notice, of course, what do we need? Well, we need the shop. We need to either rent it or buy a shop. And then we're going to need, you know, to furnish it in some way, shape or form. If we're going to do guitar lessons, we're, we, we're going to have to make it look nice within the place. And then, of course, we need the equipment, which we, we could purchase the equipment that we're going to later sell uh, and then have inventory of the equipment or and or have some equipment that we're going to have on hand that we expect to be renting out and generating revenue in that in that way.